to remove the front seat from your Caboose Ultralight Stroller. So, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is there are snaps on either side of the, um, we'll call it the armrest or the seat. So you're just going to unsnap both of these. And then your car seat restraint straps are going to be attached here in the pocket or, or tucked away in your pocket, but you're still going to want to remove it. So there's a little slit in the D-ring um, that's attached here. So you're going to feed the harness or the strap through the slit. And you can just remove this. And then... You're going to repeat on the other side here and you have your crotch strap attached underneath the seat so it's attached to this bar here so you're going to do the same thing it's got the d-ring with the slit in the middle feed that strap through the slit and then on the back of the seat there is going to be a screw right here with a strap that attaches the seat to the back of the uh, the back of the seat. So we're just going to take this off with a screwdriver. Once you have that screw off, you're going to repeat on the other side. I've already taken that one off. And you can just feed the feet out from the armrest there and then slide it off the back of the frame. So now your seat goes off. It should look like this. Then, once you go to reinstall it, there's a pocket on the back of the seat that's going to go over the frame here, the frame of the seat. So you're going to slide that onto the frame. Then you're going to take these armrest pads and slide them onto the armrest of the seat. Go ahead and snap your button back in the place. Repeat on the other side. And we're going to put that screw back on. So you'll have your screw with the little plastic piece. You'll see the hole in the back of the frame. So you'll just take this strap and start to feed it through a little bit. So I like to do it with the screwdriver and kind of feed it through the material again before you get it on there. Once it starts poking through, just line it up with the hole. Line it up with the hole. Once you get close to it being tight, just hold on to the plastic piece. You want it formed around that frame. There we go. You're going to repeat on the other side. And then the final step is putting the crotch strap back or securing it back. So we're going to attach it to this bar here underneath the seat. So we'll go down and around that metal slit in the or slit in the D ring. Feed your strap back through. Give it a good tug and you just change out your seat.